Okay guys, it has been five long years since I did the last video on how to erase your Mac for resale. So I thought it was time to update the video. Not a lot has really changed, but um, if you are somebody who likes to see the whole process start to finish, then this is the video for you. So what we have in front of us here is a 2017 Intel chipset MacBook Pro, which has been replaced by over here, a 2020 M1 MacBook Pro. Um, first thing to do before you start with anything is do a time machine backup and I really recommend the Western Digital My Passport Slim for Mac. Um, comes with a USB-A and C adapter on it. Really fast, really great for backups and restores. So £50 at the time of recording, worthwhile going to get it. The second thing you need after a backup is a cup of tea because we always need a cup of tea. And then the third thing we need to do is uninstall or log out of all of our accounts on the Mac before we start to wipe the hard drive. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to sign out of the important stuff. So let's start with iTunes. Now to get to iTunes, you know where it is, or you can go up in the top right hand corner, launch Spotlight and just type iTunes and iTunes will pop up down here um, actually now it's called music so there you go there's the first change so once you're into iTunes now recalled music you go into account and you want to go into sign out this used to be that you would go into account and you would deauthorize the machine um, which you've still got down here deauthorize the computer um, which you can do um, but you can also just sign out so look away everyone That's the machine deauthorized. Don't really need to do that, but you know, I am a old school gent, so I like to keep things old school. And then we just go sign out, which basically is pretty much the same thing. So you can see here, it says welcome to Apple Music, that's fresh, so we can now quit that one, get it done. The next thing is gonna be messages. All your messages up in the cloud, the annoying thing where it was syncing, not syncing, yada, 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 yada. Here we go, we go in. We go to iMessage and we go to sign out. Do you want to sign out? Yes, I do. Signs you out and again, you've got this window here and you are happily now signed out of iTunes and you are signed out of your messages. You can, if you want to, go up to your Bluetooth, open your Bluetooth preferences and you can deauthorize your keyboard, mouse, etc. if you wish. The next thing to now do is log out of iCloud. So what we do is we go into System Preferences, which is found by Apple System Preferences, and then we go into our Apple ID. Now the first thing you have to do is untick Find My Mac. This is like with the phones, it's an Apple security thing, and it's quite important, so you must remember to sign out of Find My Mac first before you sign out of iCloud. Again, look away from my password. So it's unticked here. We're now out of uh, signed out find by Mac. And now we can uh, sign ourselves out of the um, entire iCloud. So what we do is we go to overview, click overview, and then click sign out. It's gonna say here, do you wanna keep a copy? If you don't wanna keep a copy, your data will be removed. So we're gonna untick it because we don't wanna keep a copy. And then we just click continue. Sign out and remove cards. Do you want to download or delete your photos? I'm going to delete them. Low resolution and photos will be removed. Delete them from the Mac. Your iCloud account can be removed at this time. Keep going, keep going. So let's go back, try again. Do you want to keep a copy? No. No, 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 sign out, sign out and remove cards. Delete from Mac, delete from Mac. Hmm, interesting. Let's untick photos, because it was the photos that is causing an issue here. 
So we're going to delete that. It might be running in the background. And then we're going to go in here. Try it again. Turn off iCloud services and try again. Okay, let's try that. So it could be the iCloud drive and my photo that was causing a problem. So let's untick them. Stop updating and turn off. Turn off iCloud drive. Turn off mail. Turn off your contacts. Really, you don't normally have to do this. It's uh, obviously something on this particular Mac that is uh, causing an issue. So let's go ahead and just turn everything off that we can. It's still catching up with iCloud Drive. So everything is now turned off. And let's go into Overview. And now we'll try and sign out. Hmm, we've encountered a problem, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're gonna do is as anything, Everything is unticked. We're going to do a quick restart and then we're going to try it again because something might be lurking in the background. Okay, now we're logged back in. Back into our Apple ID. So make sure they're all off. And then we're going to go sign out. Okay, and now that has finally worked. So basically, if you encounter the same problem I did, uncheck all of your services, then restart the machine. So obviously iCloud was doing something in the background which was not allowing us to uh, sign out. So now we are successfully signed out of all the applications that we need to be, what we're gonna do is restart the machine and we're gonna bring ourselves into um, the OS, uh, Mac OS Recover system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down Command and R as soon as the machine restarts. So let's go ahead and do this. As soon as you hear the bong, that's when you will then hold down Command and R. So just keep your fingers hovering on it. So now it's off, Command and R, because I'm hearing the uh, bong, the good old Apple startup. Keeping Command and R held down. Apple logo, keep holding Command and R until we wind up in OS recovery. Here we are, we can let go of Command R now. You may have even been able to let go of it a bit earlier, but better safe than sorry. So now we're in OS recovery. What we wanna do is wipe our machine. So we're gonna go into disk utility. Continue. So now what we wanna do is go to view show all devices and we want to find our startup disk which is this one here Macintosh HD so it's an internal disk drive called Macintosh HD so all of our data sits in Macintosh HD data which will be usually underneath Macintosh HD and we go to edit and we're going to go to erase And then we're going to go to Erase Volume Group. And we're done here. So we click Done. Okay, now it's time to erase the startup hard drive. So we erased the Macintosh HD data. Now we're going to go to Apple SSD. So it's usually Apple HHD or Apple SSD, depending which it is. 
Then we're just gonna go over to the Erase button that is over here and click that. Here you've got Format. APFS is what you wanna keep it on. However, if yours did say Mac OS Journal, to keep it on whatever it should be here and GUID partition map, that's all fine. Then just click Erase. There we go, done quite quickly. So hit Don. And now we're gonna quit Disk Utility and we're gonna to go to reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. So basically we've gone into disk utility, we've completely wiped our data, we've completely wiped the startup disk, so there is now no operating system on this machine. So it's time to reinstall that operating system by selecting reinstall Big Sur, select continue. An internet connection is required. So over here on the right hand side, I'm gonna join my Wi-Fi network. So you see on the right hand side, Wi-Fi shows I'm joined. And now let's try this again. Continue. What's now gonna happen is the computer is gonna to connect to the internet. It's gonna download the latest version of Big Sur or whatever the OS will be at the time of you watching this. And then it will install it. You will have to obviously sign your life away by agreeing to uh, terms and conditions you didn't read. You can see here about 44 minutes to install. So after about 20 minutes of downloading, you will then get this window here and that will take again about another 20 minutes. Once the spinning world disappears, you will then be greeted with the Mac screen again, reinstalling the OS. So far, it's taken about 40 minutes to get to this stage. So now we've rebooted back into the Mac OS Utilities app. And all we're gonna do from here is restart. What I like to do at this point is press and hold the power button, keep it held and the system will hard shut down. You're not gonna do any damage at this point because you're on a brand new, fresh install. And then you just uh, box up, hand this over to the new uh, purchaser, and then when they get the Mac, they will press the power button, have the boot up sequence, and then be back at the Big Sur setup window, which is for the new owner, not for you. And that concludes erasing all of your data and wiping a MacBook for resale. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was useful. Thanks.